a face wash review on how I take care of my skin. Um, I really have good skin for the most part. The only thing is that after the holidays when I was in Florida, I um, noticed a breakout and I had like a solar system on my face and I just was looking really, really ashy and dry like someone's auntie and I just was not looking cute. And I couldn't slap makeup on top of that because my skin just didn't look healthy. And um, after being in Florida for like five days, I forgot my face wash stuff at home. So I was kind of just um, washing my face the regular way, but I couldn't really do my facial routine. So I just, like I said, between that and the water, I just had a really, really bad breakout. So I'm going to show you what I do to my face every night before I go to bed. And it really, really works amazing to help keep my skin clean and refreshed so the first thing that I do is wash my face just to kind of wash out any you know germs and impurities for the, from the day make sure my hands are clean because you know if you're touching your face a lot then you're putting a lot of germs and stuff on your face the second thing that I do is after I do that I put this black mask on my face and this is the mask that I use it's um, the brand is Black Ice Professional. It's called Charcoal Peel Off Mask and um, it has activated carbon in it and it just kind of tightens your skin and gets all the impurities out. Um, for me, it dries my skin out but I have naturally dry skin so I have to make sure that after I use this and I do my second step that I'll go back and hydrate my skin so that I don't walk outside looking like a ghost because it's cold and my skin is just really, really dry. So, I just put this on and I'm going to leave it up here for about 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes and um, the mask is completely dry. I can barely move my face as you can tell because my lips are tight. So, to loosen up. So... When I go to pull it off, I just kind of pull it from the part that I feel is loose, the most loose, which is usually around my mouth and my nose. As you can see, it's really tight. So, That hurt okay so now that I have the mask off I can see that it pulled some stuff out my face my face was really really dry but it looked like it pulled some dirt and stuff off my face you probably really can't see it in the camera but yeah it's just my face is nasty Now that I got all the black mask stuff off, I kind of just let my face cool down a little bit because it's burning and tingling for me, ripping the stuff off. So next, the next thing I use is Noxzema. I just use the regular classic clean, um, just the original deep cleansing cream, and it just tingles. I like this because it makes me feel like my face is getting really clean. So...
So now that I got all that off, since my skin is so dry, I have to seal it with um, cocoa butter because lotion doesn't really like work for my skin. My skin drinks that stuff. So I just got 100% cocoa butter that I just got from like the local beauty supply store. And I put it up there before my face is fully dry because my face seems to take the moisture better when it's still a little moist. So I just so I just run it where I feel like I get the ashiest the most. And I'm just rubbing it in to my over so that my face will be dry when I get up in the morning. And when my face isn't broke out so bad, like over here I got the solar system going on. My face is just nasty. Uh, I probably only do this once a day, but since I'm trying to clear clear my face up, I probably do it twice a day for like a week, and my face should be back to normal and pretty clear. So my face is pretty clear on this side. And I have eczema behind my ears, so sometimes I rub the cocoa butter back there because it'll get flaky sometimes because it's so cold outside. The weather's changing. So yeah, and then. My face is back to normal. So this is why it's important to take care of your skin. Um, sometimes traveling, the water can be different. That's what caused me to break out. So again, I used, I washed my face first with just regular warm water. And then after that, I put the um, charcoal black mask on my face. And I just got this from the beauty supply store. It was like 5 or $6. After that, I did the Noxzema Deep Cleansing. And I think I got this from like Walmart or Walgreens. And then after I wash that off, I do this. So I hope that helps. And let me know if you guys have any tips or tricks or other things that I can use to help my skin clear up a little bit faster.